guys, and we are talking Star Wars Re- 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 Rebels. <laughs> Hera's Heroes. Now, this episode of Rebels, man, this was the intro. This is was really the introduction of Thrawn, of Grand em- Emperor Thrawn. Is it Emperor or Imperial? emperor um so thrawn was introduced in this episode because hera we know her relationship with her dad from previous episodes and she ends up rescuing him but their her home is taken over by the empire so she wants to go back and retrieve an artifact that is really passed down to generation to generation so it's an art it's an art artifact it's an artifact that is very precious to her so this mission is a personal mission and she tells the ghost crew I don't want you to get involved in this mission because this is a personal... I didn't think this was going to be a personal mission, but it ended up being a personal mess- mission. But everybody says, you know, you would have done the same, so we're going with you. So uh, they inter- they they get into the base. They get into her home what, that's occupied by em- the Empire, uh, Stormtroopers and stuff. Uh, it's it's funny, Ezra's wearing one of the Stormtroopers' outfits, but still a speeder bike Stormtroopers' outfit. And she he takes Hera prisoner, so to speak, and then they go in, they retrieve the artifact, and they have bad luck, but Thrawn is there. Thrawn is there, and he knows everything that's going on. He's like, this is Hera. This is you. You're looking for her father. Well, here's his daughter. New right off the bat. New from the look of that artifact. Not only that, uh, he knew Ezra was going to come diving in. I mean, Thrawn was five steps ahead of these people. And that's exactly what the Thrawn is in the book. In the expanded universe, he's five steps ahead of everybody. He's so, uh, he's so sure of himself that at the end of this episode, you know Hera and all the crew are able to escape. But Thrawn allows them to escape. So that means he has something in mind in the future. Something big. Something that's going to lose little battles but win the big war. I wonder what that big war that he's going to win. I think there's going to be some deaths towards the end of the season. Or somebody's going to go missing. Or something crazy is going to happen where a couple people are going to be taken prisoner by Thrawn. Because, I mean, Thrawn knows what he's doing. And it seems like people are kind of like, wait, what are you doing? And he starts explaining that that artifact, you don't appreciate real art. He even gets pissed at one of his second-in-command saying, you do not understand art. Like, I'm sorry. You know, he gets calm, cool, and collected. But this guy knows what he's talking about. This guy knows what he's doing. I mean, this was the episode that I was like, yeah, yeah that's Thrawn. That's the expanding universe Thrawn. Um, it is interesting that he doesn't have, like, that second-in-command, like in the books, uh, Pillion, I believe his name is. Um but Thrawn was just magnificent in this episode. I thought he was great. I think this is a smart, calculated villain. He's not hes not going to beat you with his fisty cups. <laughs> he's going to beat you with his mind and his intellect and his love for art. And he ends up taking that um, artifact from Hera. You know, Hera's able to escape and stuff because my boy Chopper. You know, Chopper is my favorite. I want to get that Chopper pop. I want to get that Chopper pop because that's the only thing that's really out there with Chopper's name on it. Chopper is my number two droid of all time. R2, of course, is number one, but Chopper is my number two. He's my number two. He is awesome. I love Chopper. Chopper, once again, saving Hera and Ezra's ass. Uh, I really like Kanan's using... Still using being able to be a Jedi or somewhat not a full Jedi, but still a Jedi to uh, even when he's blind. I mean, there's a lot. There was a lot of great things with Hera as well. I love Hera. I love her as a character. Uh, Just seeing this personal mission that she went on was actually really great to see because, you know, we love Hera. We love Hera. We love the Ghost Crew. I think the Ghost Crew is a really great can of characters. But I think this episode... The, the show was stolen from Thrawn. And when he stepped on scene, when he started really laying down the law, when he started laying down what he... Th- questioning the second in command, like, do you know this is not a mere uh, servant? Like, he, he knew. He knew. And uh, I'm just very interested to see in the long run what him and the governor do in the future of Star Wars Rebels. But it was a good, solid episode for Thrawn to be introduced. And it was a good episode for Hera to see more of, like, her mother's side of the story and her side of the story. But uh, it, it was a good episode for Thrawn. I think this now they know who... They didn't know who this guy was. Now they know who he is. And he's going to show them who he really is towards the end, probably, of the season. So, thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you like and comment below. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. I'm Dan Manning and Dan son, and may the Force be with you always.